Welcome everybody back to Boost in Motion, guys. And today, I'm going to be racing my boys, S6. So if you guys are new to the channel, please, if you can, hit that subscribe button with that bell notification. I make a lot of videos on the DIYs for the Q50, Q60 community. But then also, I like to do think one-offs like this where I do comparisons with my JB4 Q50 versus a stock S6. Okay, guys? So let's get into the video. Quick intermission guys, if you are watching this video, please hit that like button. Please, really appreciate it. But we did two digs. The first one, completely fair. I honked, good run. Second run, I didn't I didn't break boost good enough. But nonetheless, I gave it to him and he gave me a bus. You see how it is? This is why if you want to, guys, if you can, check that link up above. I talked about the draggy, but I also talked about why brake boosting is so important with these cars. How you could come from being a 5 second car to being a 4.5 second car with just brake boosting. But uh, let's continue the video. All right, guys, so here's some details. This is two row races from 30. Um, I honked both of them. The second one, the, well, the first one you saw that I pretty much seemed like I got the jump on him. I believe I did get the jump on him because he said he didn't hit a honk. And you could kind of see when the car left up. So, But nonetheless, he gave me a bus before. Well, I just gave him a bus in a row. I don't care. I don't care, guys. But next, the last race, this one was a really good one. This was a heads up one, too. And, um, yeah, he edged me out. But um, right now, it's technically two for two. And I'll leave it at that, guys. This video wasn't necessarily made to see who's the better car. But I actually want to talk a little bit, a little bit of a technical information with you guys who have a Q50, Q60, Red Sport, Premium, Lux, the twin turbo motor. Um, as I did more runs with him, um, check the card up here. I talked about the stock heat exchanger. And at the start of this run... My heat exchanger coolant. Remember, the cooler the coolant, the better the intake, uh, the better the charge temperature from the turbos, which means better power consistently. I was right around 50 Fahrenheit. After only four runs with him, my coolant temperature was at 130 Fahrenheit. And any of you guys that are into cars and know that, that is not good for the heat exchanger temperature coolant, period. That's not good at all. So throughout the time, throughout the time, I kept on just losing power, but nonetheless, I still think it was a really good run. And this is all on a stock Q50 with just a JB4. All right, guys. So guys, tell me what you think. Tell me who you thought really won, because I know I know I had some some Audi S6 fanboys in here. Audi all day. Listen, the car is a great car, and I am going to be review doing a short review for that car for you guys that are in the Infinity world and just want to know a little bit more about the S6 and. Why it's actually a great cruiser and a really great car. But nonetheless, guys, if you have any questions, contact me at Boost Emotion on Facebook and Instagram. You guys definitely keep sending me those questions. I try my best to answer them, and I definitely do. But nonetheless, um, if you like this video, hit the like button, please. And if you've been watching my videos, hit the subscribe button with that notification, all right? So this is Boost Emotion signing out. And you guys have a good morning, good afternoon, and good night. Thank you, guys.